So we're nearly ready to add the drum kit and finish our track off. Before we can do that, we need to duplicate sections B, C and D. So tap on the plus sign at the top right at the end of your ruler guide and select section B and tap duplicate. Then select section C and duplicate. And lastly, section D and duplicate that one as well. Okay, and then go up to the top and select all sections and we can come out of that menu. And just return to the start of section A. And we're going to go up to the sound browser now to add our drums. So sound browser in the top left. Scroll along to drummer. Select acoustic. And we've got Kyle playing drums for us. In the bottom left, there's a wee button that says swing none. So the Adams Family tune has a swing rhythm. So we need to tap on that and we need to choose one eighth swing heavy so that the drum beat will fit with our tune. Okay, now we don't want any drums in the opening section where we have the melody with the clicks. So we're going to tap on the tracks view button. That's the one just to the right of the instrument browser on the top left. And there you can see all the tracks that we've recorded. So we want to get rid of some of the drumming. But I only want to get rid of this first section. So at the moment, the whole thing is bright yellow. So I need to click off of that track to make sure that I'm only now selecting that first bit. So make sure the only bit that you want to delete is this bright yellow bit at the start, okay? And then tap that and delete. And then we want to do the same with the small section at the end. So tap to highlight it and then if you tap again, the menu will come up with the option to delete. And then we're going to highlight the remaining bit of drums and we're going to slide that along so that you can see that slider lined up with the start of section B on your ruler guide. If you look up at the top, it should be in line with section B. Okay. Now we've got two extra sounds on the end of the drum track that don't really work on the end of the piece. So what we need to do now is scroll out using two fingers and slide yourself along until you can see the end of that drum track. And now we want to just remove the last two sounds. So we're going to tap on the end of that section and we're just going to scroll until we lose those two sounds. And let's have a wee listen to that. So if you tap on the ruler guide so that we can start near the end, Okay. Now, let's speed our tempo up. So tap on the settings cog. And we had our tempo set to 70 to make it easier to record, but we want to put it up to 100. For playback. Okay. So tap return to take you to back to the start of the project. And then your metronome at the top will be blue at the moment. If you look along the top row, if you tap that to white, then we're not going to hear that click anymore. So we should just hear the melody you've recorded with the claps that you recorded. So let's play from the beginning and see how it sounds.
here we go. So we'll have one more step just to do some finishing and that will be your track complete. Well done.